Hey, how are you doing? Yes, I'm doing good, 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 yes. Uh, how was it? Uh, did you understand? Was... Yeah, I understand. Let me show you the two form, colon form and reduce colon form for this example. Then it will clear to you. Okay. The matrix size is very big. Sorry for that. It will taking time. No, it's no, it's no. It's... <laughs> okay, let me see here. <clears throat> okay, so let me write here. So should I show you both, uh, both uh, you know, equivalent form and reduce equivalent form? Then it will be clear to you, right? Yeah, please. Yes. Okay, I'm doing that. I'm trying to do that one. So we have the matrix. So the matrix, A matrix, first 0, negative 3, negative 6, 4, and 9. And then negative 1, negative 2, negative 1, 3, 1. And then negative 2, negative 3, 0, 3, 1. And then you have 1, 4, 5, negative nine and negative seven so this matrix first let convert it into the equivalent form okay Tarik? equivalent form okay right so what we do as we know we have to make this we try to make this position one we can do it just interchanging the row one with the row four we get it so if you do it then you get here one four five negative nine negative seven then leave the rest, uh, you know, the row three and uh, row two as it is, because we did not do anything with these two row. And then zero, negative three, negative six, four, and nine. This is we have. Now what we do? So, so now I think if I write this here, the better this this position I'm writing. Then you know we 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 get some some space here, more space, right? yeah so let me write it here uh, so what you do you want to make this situ you know this entry is all zero so we do one by one if you want to do this part zero what you have to do you have to take the second row i'm writing you know you know shortly r suffix two okay plus okay. one r suffix one you understand row one and row two we're doing that yeah 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 okay so this is one four five negative nine negative seven then this will change you add zero two you know then you get here four negative six negative six and then you know together i am doing what the same thing that i am taking row three and two into row one so then zero and then five right Tarik? negative six yeah and then yeah this is uh, what we're doing that is 10 and then 18 mean negative 15 yes i'm doing calculation by i think it will be better if you do by yourself because you told me that you have little weak in arithmetic right yeah if i do it it take time you want to do it ah yeah yeah sure but go with me the mind <laughs> okay uh what we get then one minus uh, you know and then this position we get uh, did i write the correct i think the matrix i did wrong so this will be negative one okay one second this position will be negative one this is negative one okay Tarik, let me check the matrix so then negative one two negative one three one uh, zero three so one four nine. yeah that, that's correct you know this is position this and then negative 15 and this position we we not need to change already zero appear here so negative six yes, four. Negative yes right okay i think uh, for the first row we at least find out the pivot position right yeah this position this position is the pivot. see uh, it is not necessary that uh, you have to make this one this position you if you, you live as two and then you can continue the process but the problem you know what what you get when you take it is two and want to make this part zero you have to work with fraction got it tarik yeah that's the problem that's the problem so make it is one although in equivalent form 
they did not uh, claim that you need that position one but for our convenience we make it is one because we not want fraction integer right only needed yeah so so multiple the second row yes then why you know uh one over two so then what do you get here you get one four five minus nine minus is zero then it is one and then two negative three negative three zero five ten negative fifteen negative fifteen and zero negative three negative six four and nine okay 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 so now this is the pivot position we happy with the pivot position we already previous pivot position let me put the green color because pivot position are very powerful so now what we do we make this zero all entry okay we forget okay. about the top part of the pivot yeah so how we do this so first let me make this part zero so how we make use the pivot position you have to multiple the second row by five and add with the third row so the row three plus five into row two did you understand tarik this uh, not plus. yeah i understand oh uh, yeah minus minus it will be subtraction right yeah minus Minus five or ah, two. Yeah. Yes, yes, right, exactly. Yes. So what we get then we get one, four, yes, five, negative nine, negative seven, and this position will be zero. Run it. Oh uh, yeah. Zero yeah. and then one and two, negative three, negative three. Yes. Now make this part zero. Yes. So zero. You multiple by three, then you get here also zero, right? And this position also zero. Because minus 10 10 minus 10 minus 15 plus 15 so again zero so here again zero got it Tariq? yeah right now this position how you make zero you have to take the fourth row and plus three into the second row remember always i'm using this pivot position row two okay then what do you get if you multiple by two then you get here zero so negative three plus three you get zero right then yeah. you know this position i think uh, negative six plus six zero and then what do you get four minus nine so minus five right got yeah. it and then here you get zero so this is you know you get just uh, when you making this pivot to position so we get this is the the second row pivot position now we'll go to the third row ah the problem you have to inchant change two row right because zero row appear first before the non-zero row so you have to interchange right this row right the problem is this row you have to interchange with this row right Tariq yeah okay so row row 3 interchange by row 4 so the row if you interchange then what do you get you get 1 4 5 negative 5 negative 7 and here 0 1 2 negative 3 negative 3 if you interchange you get 0 0 0 negative 5 0 and then this is 0 0 0 0 0 and now look at the pivot position for this one we have this for this second or third row here use the pivot position right okay if you want you okay. can make it is one because equal on form you want you not need a one right so the this is the equal on form this is equal on yes equal on form because we satisfy the all criteria for equal on form so a is not in the equal on form but applying the row operation we can we can get the equal on form of that matrix understand Tariq? yeah very yeah. good very good so now now this is equal on form, right? equal on form, equal on form, because it is in the equal on form. We satisfy the three condition that we have written in the previous link. Hmm. Okay. Now we have to check the, you know, the reduce equal on form you want. See, to find out the reduce equal on form, you know, every step you have to make all entry zero. For example, look at this situation. You know what we have done here. In this case, we only make this zero, right, Tarik? This position we make zero only, right? Yeah. Okay. Now I'm doing here that in this step, 
we want this also zero right that is this position hmm? so yeah. extra operation i am applying here the extra operation is what you have to take row one plus four uh, negative four into row two did you understand tarik this these two operation with this operation extra from here you have to make change did you understand okay so that it used should be up and down of one zero. up and down of one yes so extra operation you have to apply here when you convert it into the reduce equal on form hmm. okay so i only care about the four it does not matter about the five and negative nine no negative three four should be zero yeah you have to make this also you know what we have done here basically if you look at this you know this position oh. so look at this here what we have done these cases you know this much we first uh, find out the leading one here and make all zero this this situation right and then here yeah. for the second row we find out this was leading one we have to make this zero also this below part zero only for the equal on form what we have done below part we made zero right this part but we, yeah. for, we don't care about the this part but for the reduce equal on form you have to make also this zero so you have to uh, uh, here apply extra more condition row one plus negative four into row two right that is yeah should i do this or again in the refresh you know phrase page i do it so like what kind of questions i'll be asked like could it use like no you know, they, will like, give, like... they will maybe give you a matrix and ask convert it into the equivalent form then you have to do this work if they asked convert it into the reduce equivalent form then you have to care about the up part of the leading one that also you have to make zero together okay just give me the, one minute the question they can ask you either they will they will okay. give you a matrix yes equal on form or reduce yeah, yes, form. Hmm? okay yes so to find you know equal on form when you are doing one more step you have to add you know when if you want reduce equal on form you have to add one more stop, uh, step every time okay Okay, so here's the question. If negative five, it is one, I have to make negative three, negative nine zeros. You are saying the final answer? Yeah, if you look at the final answer, I have negative five. Let's say that is one. So I have to switch negative three and negative nine into zeros. Yes, also, you know, this position, you need zero. You know, look at this, you know, where it is. Yeah, this. This position you did not make zero because leading one appear here. So this part also need zero, right? Okay, understood now. That you can do from here, from here. So see what I am trying to say. For oh, let me tell you, yeah. if you want to calculate equal on form, do this process: this, 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 and this, 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 and equal on form, right? Yeah. Now let's say reduce equal on form. How you calculate? You start with this matrix. First you make one. Yes. Then make all zero. Yes, I put here all zero. And then, you know, go to the second row. You have the leading one here. So then you have what you need to make this position. The four you need zero and this five and negative three you need zero. You know, if you apply this two operation, this and this, you, you can put here zero. Right, Tari? And yeah. to make this zero, you have to extra this operation apply. So if you apply three operation together, then what you the matrix you get here, let me write one. Then this also change negative four. So this means zero. So five minus eight, negative three. And then, you know, minus nine plus minus nine uh, plus 12. So uh, this is three. And then uh, minus seven plus 12. So five, right? And zero, one, two, negative three, negative three. And then this true operation apply then you get 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 negative 5 0 got it Tariq? so here yeah, okay so i just have one small question mm. so like if uh they ask me okay should like when i get an equation i should first switch it to argumented matrix and then solve it 
either an HLF phone or the dearest phone. Yes, 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 you and are right. Find consistency and then X, find the X's. Yes, you are right. Exactly, exactly. Okay, and, so and we have like two operations, HLN form or reduced form. Reduced right? HLN form, yes. If they ask, they give you a matrix and ask convert it into the reduced equivalent form, then you have to do reduced equivalent form. If you, they start with a matrix, okay? Okay. Hmm. I think you got the point, right? The same process, yeah, you yeah, go yeah. to the next, yes, interchanging this two row. If you interchange, then you get here, basically. 1, 0, negative 3, 3, 5, then 0, 1, 2, negative 3, negative 3, 0, 0, 0, negative 5, 0, then 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Now make this is 1, this position. How you make this? You multiple by negative 1 over 5, then it make, become 0, then put this part 0. Should I do again here this? I think it will be better if I do this place. So I am doing here this position. Okay, Tariq? Okay. So negative 1 over 5 of row 3. So then what do you get? If you do this, then you get 1, 0, negative 3, 3, 5. Then you get here 0, 1, 2, negative 3, and negative 3. Then you have 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. Then 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So you have the pivot position. This place, ah, you have this place, pivot position, this place, and this place. Now, what we want? We want this part all zero, right? Right? Yeah. Yes. So, so we take the row, we take the row one, we make this part zero, row one yeah. minus, minus three. three of, yes, row three. Or three. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. And then what we get? We get one, zero, negative three, and then zero here we zero, get zero five. yes yeah, five, five will be changed five will be five because you multiple this by three three means zero five minus zero is five right yeah. and then yeah. here you put zero one uh, okay we need to change also this row because we want this part zero so, so you have to take you have to take here you have to take here row two row two plus three of row three if you do then what do you get you get 0, 1, okay, zero. yes, 2, zero. 0, negative, negative three. 3, yes, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So this is the, you look at this, this is the reduce, uh, you know, the form, right? 1, all 0, here 1, all 0, here 1. This is the pivot, right? Yeah. This is pivot, right? And this is free, right? Then pivot, right? And if it is B, then not need to check. So let me write here the system. The system convert in the form. It is the system what you get. If you want, you can write from here the system. You get X1, right? Minus, yeah. Minus 3X3 yeah. equal to 5. Yes. Okay. Yeah. X2 plus. 2x3 equal to negative 3. And then x4 equal to 0. Right, Tarik? Yeah. Let me tell the pivot. Pivots are what? Pivots are basically the variable x1, x2, and x4. Right, Tarik? Yeah. And free variables are? How many free variables there are? x3 free variable, right? X3. Only? Yes. Yeah. Since there is free variable, so the system will have infinitely many solutions. If there is no free variable, if, suppose the system is consistent. First, you check rank. Rank of A is equal to rank of augmented matrix? Yes, right? Yeah. Yes. So, it is consistent. Now, if it is consistent, two cases can be occurs. Unique solution, only one solution or many. Okay, Tariq? Okay. So, when unique, no free variable, no free variable, and uh, many free variable appear. Okay. Okay. Right. This. So, if you put, you look at this system, this, right? Right. Now, yeah. here free variable x3 appear. So, so then what you can do? So, x4 equal to 0, right? Yeah. x4 is 0. 
now from these two equation you can write x1 and x2 so let me write here uh, i am writing this position sorry here i have to write okay okay x1 equal to 5 plus 3 of x3 and x2 will be negative 3 minus 2 of x3 and x4 is 0 so now x3 free so you can take x3 equal to t t is any real number then if x3 is t then what do you get x1 you get 5 plus t 3t and x2 what you get three minus t. 3 minus 2t huh, yes x4 equal to oh there is no place yeah yeah this and then that said yes this so you can write down the vector form of this solution system should i write in the next page or here uh, say again. vector form the solution you can write here the vector form Okay. okay, the vector form is section 1.3. 1.3. Let me write down it here. Then it will be easy for section 1.3. Okay. Okay. Okay, let me write here. How it is? So, x1, x2, x3, x4. Okay. Okay, first of all, I have to do the access. And so, I, uh, yeah, I have to go to the next page. Please, I allow me to go to the next page. Okay. You could erase. Edit like erase some because like i'm okay you know what i mean oh I, I go to the next page is it okay for you okay okay yeah, please okay so the solution is x1 x2 how many variable you have four variables so you have to take this form it is a matrix or you can say the vector so x1 is what write down using t that you had here five plus five plus three t right tarik and then this is yeah yes x2 minus 3 minus 2t minus 3 minus 2t i think so. 2t yes then what is x3 x3 t. is itself t yes write down it x3 is t and x4 is 0 and right zero. yes so how you write yeah. so you write first the t factor out then you write down the coefficient of t here for the first component 3 second component negative 2 here 1 here no t 0 got it Okay. Plus, then write down the constant. So, 5 you have here. right? So, this is 5. Yes. And 5 then next concept negative 3. Then you have 0. No constant here. You have constant 0. So, 0. Okay. This is the vector form of the solution of the system. Okay. I have explained everything in this example basically. If you have a augmented matrix in this form, you can convert it into the equivalent form still you can solve but people most of the time convert it into the reduce equivalent form then it is easy to write down the solution always you convert it into the reduce equivalent form then you can easily write down the vector solution okay tarik okay okay it because reduce equivalent form why important because you know the top part of pivot also zero and you know zero are very nice number they not give us you know the boring right you know they uh, save our time zero so that's why zero is very much uh, useful numbers in mathematics right yeah 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 most of the thing make easy right for example so, look, here is the problem. go ahead yes why zero is go, go ahead. yes zero is useful because suppose you have five dollars and you give to another people five dollars so then how much you have you have to understand okay i have five dollar i give another people five dollar that you have to remember whole sentence but if someone remember like this nothing we have zero so everything that statement equivalent to zero right yeah that i'm just <laughs> just this is you know for a relax of brain i told you <laughs> okay don't worry yeah right okay any question, Tariq, so far? No question. No question. Okay. Nice. Parametric solution I did. Hmm. I think now it is time to go to the next. The section uh, 1.2. Should I give you example? I think not needed. It's enough. One other way it take time, right? Okay. So the thing is like I don't have a problem on the practical point, but then on the theory. You know what I mean? Do you want practice some problem? 
Look, I'll send you a quest too, okay? Let me send you a quest too. Yeah, send me, send me. So you could have a look. Yes, please. I completely messed up on this. You know, mm. I had no knowledge. Uh, yeah. Okay. Find the general solution of the system whose augmented matrix is given by this. Should I go these three uh, examples? I mean, then it will be better for you, right? Yeah, if you can do the quizzes. Yeah, let's solve the question. Yes. Okay, so... The first question. Solution which augmented matrix is given by... Augmented matrix they, they, they have given here. So that is here. 1, negative 2, negative 1, 3. And then 3, negative 6, negative 2, and 2. So, yeah, this is the matrix. So try to convert it into the because the small size, so you can really you can convert it into the reduce uh, e colon form, right, Tarik? Yeah. Because there are only two row, so let convert it into negative two. I will I will parallelly I will check where you did mistake. Yeah. Okay. Let me solve it one more time. Solve it, please. Okay. So leading position here one you have. Don't worry. So work with it. Make the below part okay, two. One, seven, three, six, two. Should I write here in the board parallelly because then you can check you are doing, you know, correct or not. Okay. Yeah. I'm not telling in the, uh, in the voice. So you just, uh, I'm writing. Okay. Yes. Yes, just check reduce uh, for me, Joke, okay, with you. Reduce colon. Hey, let me see. Yeah. The first row I am telling you 1, negative 2, 0, negative 4. The second row is 0, 0, 1, negative 7. Right, Very. Yeah. Okay. So the. So here the system equal to what? System is x1 minus 2x2 equal to negative 4. Right, Tarik? Yeah. Yes. If you want, you can check the rank. Rank, I think, work. For the, you know, rank is fine, right? Rank of your uh, yeah. A matrix, yes, is equal to, yes, equal. rank of AB. So it is consistent. That's solution. Okay, then you can check. I have, uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So then this is what? X3 equal to negative 7. Right? Yeah. What you did here? Yeah. 
So x2 is a free variable. Yeah. X2, sorry? Yeah, yeah, x2 is free variable. X2 is free. Yes. Let me write down pivots. Pivots are basically x1 and x3. And free yeah. of the basic variable are here x2. So x2 can take any value. So write down x1 using, you know, the idea here, every pivot variable you will write using free variable. The idea, let me tell you. This is warning. Not warning, just this is, let's say, process, you know, systematic way. How to do? So this is, I am doing the different color. Write, you know, the uh, pivot variable pivot variable using by using free variables okay tarik that is the okay. you have to always do when you write down the vector form yes so do it so the from the first one x1 you can write x1 is pivot write down using x2 minus 2 of x2 always you write pivot variable using three variables Maybe two free variable, maybe okay. three variable could have there. Yes. Now x3, it is constant negative seven. You have to take. Yes. So take now free variable replace by parameter. So let's say x2 equal to t. Suppose you have two free variable. Then one you take t, other you take, you know, s like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then you can write also vector form. I will tell you one example. So this is what. So x1 you get minus 4 minus 2t and you know x2 is already t and x3 you have negative 7 so if you want write down the vector form you leave it the solution okay, in this I, form. Hmm? I think hold on hmm. i think yeah i think the without form should be fine let me see i think I have two then i have one and zero Yes. yes. Right. So if you start this way, then it will be less chance to make wrong. You write down x1, x2, x3 in the vector form, then put the value. Okay. I think I did it. Okay. Then tell me what you got. So I have uh, x1, x2, x3 equals negative 4. Sorry, negative 4 minus 2t. Mm -hmm. And then x2 equals to 2t. Mm -hmm. And then x3 is minus 7. And then equals t, mm -hmm. negative 2, 1, 0, plus mm -hmm. negative 4, 0, minus 7. Yes, negative 2, 1, 0, yes, plus yeah. And then negative plus 4, negative 0, negative zero 7. Minus 7. Minus 7. Correct. Perfect. Perfect. So these are the solution. Okay. You can take x1 equal to this, x2 equal to this, x3 equal to this. T can be taken any value. So how many solution it has? Infinitely many solution because free variable appear, right? Yeah. So if you have free variable, then infinitely many solution. First, consistent. If free variable appear, many solution, there is no free variable, unit solution. That's the whole, whole game of the system of linear equation. Okay? Okay. And all the, you know, the linear algebra problem, most of the time, you can convert it into the system of linear equation. You have to solve a matrix, augmented matrix, most of the time. So, therefore, this is pretty much useful in the linear algebra. The equal on form, reduce equal on form. Okay, Tariq? Okay. Next question. Yes. Problem two. Determine the vector. Just... Hmm. Read it. Uh, let me just double check something here. So I have one. Okay, this one. And then this is three. This is seven. Then eleven. Okay. okay, so okay, we could move on. Yes, okay. So you're right. So you have a vector B that is given by let's say three. Still, see, I did not uh, talk with you the vector concept, but still, we're doing the 
question so maybe it make you odd but i think you will learn it from your class right uh what do you mean i mean i did not uh, tell you the vector concept right so far only i told you the system of equation equal on form the vector was the section 1.3 right yeah but uh, i can i use the vector term here yeah okay okay fine right right one second yes okay right so you have this and uh, this is the vector and you have the matrix let's say a uh, 1 negative 4 2 and 0 3 5 and negative 2 8 negative 4 i think this question i did this question right i got fun mark see so it says if b equals a i have to find out yes no not be equal to a they asked can you write can we write b as a linear combination combination of columns of a matrix okay Tarik, this was the question okay yeah so see the you have to know this concept what do we mean by linear combination and what are the columns of a so columns are what how you solve this question you know you have to start with a matrix but let me tell you the columns are first you have to write down the columns let's say c1 equal to 1 0 negative 2 right Tarik? and c2 equal three, to negative eight. 4 yes 3 8 yes right yeah and c3 is basically 2 5 negative 4 these are the columns of the matrix a what do you want? We want, can we write B as a linear combination of these vectors? That means, can we find, can we find, find x1, x2, x3 such that, you know, the B vector equal to x1 of c1 plus x2 of c2 plus x3 of c3. Okay? So, vector okay. always we, we denote by put here arrow okay in the top we put a ray something like that because to uh, okay. you know distinguish between vector and scalar yes the x1 x2 x3 are real number or scalar yes that we want we want find x1 x2 x3 satisfy this equation so this is equivalent to saying that if you put here everything so 3 negative 7 and negative 3 and here you get x1 of this so this is 1 0 negative 2 plus x2 of this is what negative 4 yes 3 8 and this is x3 of it is 2 5 negative 4 okay Tarik? okay so we want to find out this so basically this is nothing but this is 3 negative 7 negative 3 if you this side simplify you get x1 minus 4 of x2 plus 2 x3 and this will be x1 into 0 so 0 so 3 of x2 plus 5 of x3 and this is what minus 2 of x1 plus 8 of x2 minus 4 of x3 this right yeah so actually we convert everything that word can we write linear combination of this in the system of equation x1 minus 4x2 plus 2x3 equal to 3 right and then this is 3x2 plus 5x3 equal to negative 7 and negative 2 1 plus 8 x 2 minus 4 x 3 equal to negative 3 so so this word problem b can be write as a linear combination of a we convert into the solving system of this linear equation right see okay see we we want to find see question was can we write b as a linear combination of a this means can we find x1 x2 x3 scalar such that b vector equal to x1 into c1 x2 into c2 plus x3 into c3 if you simplify you get a system of equation so to solve this it is enough to solve this now again you start with augmented matrix right yeah hmm <sighs>